The blade glows blue when orcs are near. Hello there. So today I want to do a very special review of my Mystic Knight's Armory Starfighter Hilt. Uh, just got this a couple days ago. Was waiting for a core to come in. Um, really love this hilt. This was definitely my unicorn hilt, uh, if you will. Uh, just meaning that I've been looking forward to this, uh, waiting for it to be um, something you know that I could afford to buy, uh, saving up for it and everything. And it's a limited run item, so once they're gone, um, they're gone. So, but I'll, I'll get into a little bit more details uh, of the the hilt in just a few moments. But first, I want to do a quick uh, correction of one of my previous videos. So I had actually showcased uh, this broadsword blade from Outer Rim Saber Parts. Um, they do say on that website that it's in partnership with a Ripper Blade. One of the cool things about uh, my YouTube channel and just kind of being a part of the, the Saber community is I actually got a response from Gary Ripper on that other video, uh, which was really cool. Um, but he clarified that this isn't actually made by him, and it is actually polycarbonate, uh, not acrylic. So it's a little bit more durable. Um, you know, I could almost duel with this. I don't quite want to because I did paint this silver, if you notice, uh, in the middle. So that when it is powered off, it does actually have kind of a normal sword look. It's got that nice shine to it. Um, but it's also very, very heavy. You know, this is a 32 inch, uh, well, uh, 30 inch blade, but the two inch uh, for the tang that I made, but um, it, it's quite hefty. Um, but let me go ahead and put a more hobbit sized blade in here uh, to actually showcase. Now this is actually a ripper. <laughs> A little small, I actually keep this in the um, pommel end of my glaive, so kind of like a spear tip glaive, and of course the other end has uh, more like an actual glaive blade. Um, I've done a, another video on that, but um, just so that we have something cool uh, in this to showcase, but you know, here's, here's our main attraction right here, is that hilt. And what really attracted uh, me to this is just this cross guard uh, look, it has this little window here to let out some light so that is fantastic now there are some negatives i want to go ahead and get those out of the way uh, before we kind of go into you know what i really like about this say uh this hilt um so one of the, the negatives is you can see these tiny little um I, i'm not really sure what you call those but this actually went to more of a point and they were very, very thin. You can kind of see how thin those were. And in fact, when I got this out of the box, one of them was bent in a little bit and I couldn't get a blade in there without bending it outwards. Luckily, I'm, I'm pretty handy um, and I actually was able to um, just kind of clip those off and sand them down and, and I, I don't think anyone's gonna notice. Um, the other thing is the, the aluminum here is pretty thin and you can see there's your retention screws there, there, and then two on the reverse side. So, you know, four retention screws, that's gonna give you a, a really good hold, so that's nice. Um, but because they are so thin, you're gonna need a real, real thin retention screw. So the screws themselves don't have a lot of hold, but there's four of them, so they kind of back each other up. Uh, the other thing, and actually, you might notice this little gray piece, uh, if you're comparing this on the website, is not, um, it's not a, a normally part of it. I got these little chokes from uh, buyer savers, and I added that in here because Again, one of the negatives is that this this piece of the hilt, and I'll show you what that looks like, separated. So you've got the cross guard as a separate piece. My um, here's the choke. Uh, this and now now you see that's actually how how low that is. So if you didn't have the choke, this would almost not even fit. Actually. I can't fit this in there. The, the tang on this will not let me. So if I was to actually put this uh, in there as is, it would be a little large, um, or it, it, it wouldn't have enough blade depth. So I definitely recommend either getting one of these chokes or just really any LGT extension would do, but you know, give, yourself, give yourself a little bit more blade depth on that. Uh, then you have this piece, it's a coupler. Now, of course, I put a brown wrap 
on this because I wanted it to look a little bit more uh, medieval. Um, but normally this piece here is the same gunmetal gray. And then this entire piece here is this black right here. It's just kind of a matte, almost satin black. And what I do like, they didn't actually put, they don't have this picture on the website, but this piece here, uh, it's just a little uh, L um, VHC band. They included that as part of it. Um, and I'm, I'm glad because uh, LGT cores now are just a little bit longer because they have the protective battery. And if they hadn't included this, the speaker goes almost all the way up to, uh, actually I wouldn't have been able to screw in this hook pommel. See the speaker is in there pretty, pretty far. So if you didn't have that band, that would be a problem. So I'm like, I'm glad that they had the forethought for that too. But that's, here's another positive is this uh, really cool hook pommel. And you've got these vents here for sound and you can hear this very loud. This is uh, not on the loudest setting either. I actually had this on the low volume, um, but that might be the core. But I think that the acoustics of the Hilt uh, certainly do play a part there. Another negative, um, another negative that I, I kind of had to work around was the fact that um, the only screw hole that actually pushed this uh, switch and recharge port, because uh, you know if you've ever used one of these LGT cores, you know that, that that housing that has that is recessed in so that you can actually get the core up into the, the one inch inner diameter. But then once you get it in place, you have to pull that up so that the switch is a little bit more flush with the um, uh, the outside of the hilt. So you can kind of see that. Um, now, this particular screw hole was not originally there. Uh, normally on uh, LGT cores, there's a screw hole here, and then there would be a screw hole right above the recharge port, but as you can see, I can't really put one there because that's where uh, this coupler piece goes, and that's where all the threading is for that. So you can almost see it right under, right underneath there. You can see where the screw should go. Uh, so you know this was designed to not use that. Instead, what it does is it gets a, a rather long screw right here in the back that just pushes that entire housing. And one of the things I was disappointed with is that in other sabers that I've got, uh, this was M4, which is the same as your retention screws. So I had a couple of long screws ready to go because I ordered this as an empty hilt. I, I didn't have the money at the time to actually order a core. Um, I was actually able to get a, a cheap core uh, later on but um, from, from another vendor. But the hilt itself, um, this is the most expensive hilt I've ever bought. Uh, and I got it for 25% um, off for their Christmas sale. And so just the hilt with no electronics uh, after shipping and tax, uh, was just under $200. Like I said, that's the most I've ever spent on a hilt. I definitely think it was worth it, um, but there were some downsides that I felt like shouldn't have been there. So again, the, one of the big issues with this is I had to go to a hardware store and get this screw myself because the screws that I had to go into the back and push that um, switch housing forward was M4. But this is actually M3, which is the same as these. And these were just, they were too short. So I had to go to a hardware store, get a little bit longer one, file it just to the right size. I also, I, I wasn't comfortable with how little that puts pressure on the, the switch, especially since, you know, you put push a lot of pressure on the switch. So I went ahead and drilled a hole in the front just for that one too. So again, me being a little bit handy comes in handy, pun intended, um, because I actually am going to put a Xenopixel core in this uh, a little bit down the line, but just wanted to do a baselet hilt for now, or a uh, baselet core because of the ripper blades. Let me actually go to a different color since we've just been doing blue so far, but I think a nice red would be good. There we go. So I, I, I love the look of not only the hilt, but it accents so well with a, a ripper blade if you guys can afford it. Um, Mystic Knight's Armory does actually sell ripper blades as well uh, that are a little bit longer. They look, they have the same kind of, you know, concave on the inside and then, um, you know, rounded on the edge and then goes to a point. So they have them, but they're a little bit longer. I think they have an 18, I think this is only a 10 inch, so 18 will get you a little bit longer there. And they do have, uh, I want to say 32 inch ones um, that are a little bit on the long side, of course, but um, 
this video, I wasn't intending to pass 10 minutes, but uh, it looks like we are uh, getting there. Um, definitely, if you guys have stayed with me this long, I, I appreciate it. I know I'm kind of rambling at this point, but you know, I really love this, this hilt, uh, and that's definitely going to be um, you know, top shelf um, in my collection. If you guys get a chance to get one of these, uh, they, they do have a couple other models. So um, these are limited runs, um, and the gunmetal of this particular model, once they sell out, that's it. They're not going to have any more. They do have chrome, though. So uh, they're still making those. Uh, they still have plenty of those in stock. So they'll have the same designed uh, hook pommel and, and top with this middle section here uh, in black. Um, but they also have a black, like, shiny, glossy, I'm not sure how you would uh, describe it, maybe like black chrome, um, but they have it in a different um, design. I wasn't as much of a fan, I think it's called the uh, Dracon or something, or Dryak or something like that, I'm, I apologize. I um, didn't really like the look of it, but if you guys get a chance to get one of these, a pair of them, I definitely recommend it, Mystic Knight's Armory. I'll leave a link in the description. Hope you guys enjoy. May the force be with you.